This is INN News with an update on Pandemic 2011. Good afternoon, I'm Penn Holderness with another special report on what is now widely being called Pandemic 2011. What began in Shanghai is now global and is causing panic around the world with confirmed outbreaks now in India, Mexico, France, and in the United States. Also unverified reports in 14 other countries. Hundreds of cases have been reported in the southeastern United States alone, from the Carolinas to Texas. The disease seems to be fatal for one in five afflicted, and epidemiologists are now very concerned about the rapidity with which the disease is spreading. All of the Earth's cities, of course, are connected by a web of airline routes, a network through which a virus can travel anywhere in a day. Paris, Tokyo, Los Angeles, New York, wherever planes fly. Patient zero still, yet to be found. But Asia seems to be the hotbed of many of the new flu viruses that threaten all of the U.S. In fact, it's now been called the perfect incubator. This is why multiple global agencies are focusing on southeastern Asia to identify new strains as soon as possible, whether to prevent pandemics or to develop a seasonal flu vaccine. No surprise, many scientists uh, say the earliest reported cases were in Shanghai, a teeming city that mixes people, animals, and microbes from the countryside with travelers from around the world. You could hardly design a better system for turning small outbreaks into big ones. Meanwhile, in the United States, panic mounts and the death toll rises as there's sharp criticism that the government isn't working quickly enough to develop a vaccine and to coordinate its efforts with other countries such as China. In fact, some members of Congress are speaking out, suggesting that we put a tariff on goods from China to subsidize the cost of research and production. Airport officials are screening incoming passengers, but many say that's not enough. There also seems to be a groundswell in Congress right now for a total quarantine. Senators Burr and Graham have led this charge, going as far as to call this flu nature's bioterrorist and demanding that President Obama declare a state of emergency. Of greater concern is whether there will be enough vaccine available once it's produced. Who should get priority? Who will have to do without? Well, for more on all these ethical dilemmas, we're going to go live to Duke University now, where professors Cheryl Broverman and Priscilla Wald are analyzing these complex ethical issues.